For God's sake, William, will you come and drink your tea? It's getting cold. Wait a minute, man. You'll be saying that for the last ten. Just because you're a member of Neighbourhood Watch, it doesn't mean you can poke your nose into everybody's business. And being married didn't mean you could inflict your mother on me for a week last month. But you did, you know. Hey, you keep my mother out of this. And anyway, I couldn't leave her all alone when my father was in hospital. Now could I? Well, you're going to stay there, is. I might have to now. My father's taken a turn for the worse. He's putting it on. He'd do anything to get away from your mother, poor sod. Don't talk about my mother like that. And for the last time, get away from that window. I'm just doing my bit as a concerned citizen of the community. And speaking of which, I think we should phone the police. Oh, don't be so ridiculous. Twenty minutes she's been standing out there now, soliciting. <gasps> don't you go spreading rumours like that. She's probably waiting for a bus. You know how late they can be. I knew it. She just got up to some block. What? Ooh, anyone we know? I think it's one of them druggies from up the street. I know. I bet she's a dealer. Dealer? A drug dealer. Oh, don't be so ridiculous. Mrs. Owen isn't a drug dealer, man. Gosh, she's a nice old lady. Exactly. Who would suspect a 72-year-old widow dealing drugs? She's got it made. Anyway, you don't know her. I knew her she's into all types of wheelings and dealings. A nose for business, apparently. She keeps sticking into the wrong kind, though. I knew it! Come and have a look! She's just giving a pocket of white stuff! I'm looking at this. She's in there now! What? In the back! He's probably choking on something as she's helping him cough it up. Oh, with her hand back! Well, if he wasn't choking, he is now. She's just running down his throat! What? Ooh. Ooh. Oh! Oh! Get me in the curtain and I should see you! Oh. I think she must have started those karate classes she was talking about last week. Karate classes? Yeah, it's amazing. She does judo on a Monday, um, bungee jumping on a Tuesday, rock climbing on a Wednesday, rally car driving on a Thursday, trampolining on a Friday, and now karate classes on a Saturday. And she's still got time to do her weight training. On a Sunday? No, that's the day of rest, man. Very religious. Religious? She's going to put that boy in hospital now. Oh, my God, I feel her love. Bug her off, I know we don't care. She's bloody killed me. Oh, I think she's seen us. Oh, oh I told you to stop nosing, didn't I? I thought Fred Thomas was joking when he said she helped him lift his car up and need to change a wheel. <laughs> she must make some money out of that, I. What's that, weight lifting? No, drug dealing. <sighs> No wonder she can afford one of them houses up on Neath Road. She must be rolling in it. <laughs> I know. What if I pretend to be single, marry her, and do her in on her any more night? Oh, that'll be easy. Just stand by the bed naked and she'll die laughing. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Not a pretty sight, you son. Pardon me? Nothing, love, nothing. God, you want to come and see us? She's chasing down the street now. Turn the speed on her. She's like a bionic woman. Oh, you'll never get away from her. She didn't get her best then. Oh, I'll have my cup of tea now, though. Oh, that'll be freezing now. I've been this night. It'll be all right, man. All oh, reminiscing you. Yeah. Looking at the photos of the girls and wondering where all the years are gone. Oh, it's been a long time since we've seen them. You missing them? Yeah. I know all children have got to spread their wings and find their path and all that, but yeah, I miss them. Really miss them. Oh, I mean. Oh, my God. Oh. Uh, look, there's one a mile over there, look. Sunday school Christmas party. Oh, such an angel. She was allowed to go to church, didn't she? Yeah. Oh, look at her. She was so good in that nativity play. Oh, the vicar always said she was a godly child. And she looked it, didn't she? Look, with those that beautiful, innocent little face and all oh, those big round eyes and that shiny little nose. Oh, 
I was so proud of her. She was playing one of the cows, wasn't she? Yeah, but she should have played the Virgin Mary. Oh, I wonder if she's all right. She's been travelling four years now. Yeah, and the last time we heard from her, she was bungee jumping in Australia. Oh, don't worry about her, man. She'd be all right. She's a sensible girl, man. She's not the type of girl to get into any trouble. Don't worry, man. She'll be all right. Yeah, but, but it was her 30th birthday yesterday, and she always phones on her birthday. She must probably have so much fun, she forgot. Mm. But don't worry about Victoria be home from drama school now oh, on a fortnight. No, oh, I can't wait to see her. I know, we'll give her a nice welcome home, shall we? Oh, look, there she is, playing Dorothy in The Wizard of Oz. <gasps> Just like Judy Garland she was. I could tell she was going to go places even then. <gasps> she had a standing ovation that night, you know. There were no seats left, the staff forgot to put them out. Oh, I'm so excited. After coming home from Cardiff after three years, 25 and already on national television, she's going to be bigger than Elizabeth Taylor. I'm so proud. And I've seen her twice on the telly today and I've recorded it so we can watch it back again later. It's a shoe advert, love. It's all you see is her feet. Yeah. Well, you start at the bottom and work your way up. Well, she can't get much room on her bloody feet now, can she? <laughs> oh, look. There's one of the two of them together, but they look. Like... Don't they look sweet? Oh, remember that time your mother invited the vicar over tea and the both of them were running around playing doctors and nurses? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> and they had you with Dr. White sanitary towels as for surgical masks on their face. <laughs> <laughs> And especially when they insisted the vicar jo insisted the vicar join in as well, and they shoved one on him. <laughs> oh, the good old but days, isn't it? What about that? It's embarrassing. Oh, gosh. Oh, look. Our wedding photo. Now, that was a day to forget. Shit, we only got one, though, innit? Yeah, just as well. My father must have taken a dozen photos with that Polaroid camera. Oh, but you could tell he wasn't well even then. His hands were shaking. It was the middle of winter, man. No, it was his nerves. Pity my mother's poking her tongue out, though. What do you expect? She never did want us to get married. And if looks could kill me and the registrar, I would be six foot under. Ooh. And when he asked if there was any just cause or impediment why we shouldn't get married, Oh, I could have killed her, right? Oh, she wasn't that bad. Not that bad? Only because your father gagged her and dragged her into the church? <laughs> she never have liked me, that woman. She does like you. She just can't get used to me being called Mary Longbottom, that's all. <laughs> Better than Mary Bloody Jones, innit? Hey, I'll have you know I was named after Mary Jones who walked 28 miles for a Bible. The silly cow, she should have caught a bus. <laughs> Hey, you better still. Jumped on Mrs. Owens's back. She'd be there in no time. Oh, do you know, I'll never forget coming home from the register office and remembering that we'd forgotten to book a wedding cake. Oh, I felt daft having our photo done, cut in a jam and coconut sponge. <laughs> and your mother with them Garibaldi biscuits? Oh, she must have had about 30 packets of them. Forcing them on everybody at the reception. Nobody liked them. I hate that bloody things, I do. I get them for Christmas, my birthday, and every time she comes around. Oh, even the neighbors are gone off her. I got no one else to give them to. <sighs> well, do you know, I want our girls' wedding to be special, to be remembered for the right reasons, not like ours. Wasn't that bad, man? Oh, yeah. oh, what's most important is that we made the commitment and we are still together. Oh, you mean that, don't you, Will? Yes. I was about to get our wedding photo enlarged and framed. Oh, that's sweet of you. Ending for you, lad. Oh, anything? <laughs> How about we go for a meal in our new restaurant that I've opened in my steak, then? Ah, oh, go on, eh? Good, I booked it for next Saturday. Next Saturday? That's Donald's 40th, and it's a fancy dress party. I know. Donald's 40. Well, still hasn't found himself a nice girl, mind, does he? Never mind, he's got his cat. <laughs> what I was thinking, we go to the party, but a 
have a meal first and then we go straight to the party after. I'd be dressed as widow Twanky man, it's a dim, pantomime dim theme in it. Yeah. And the costumes are booked. And I'll be dim trots of what you're worried about. And Donald is really excited. I seen him last week and he said he's going as dim duty dench. <laughs> oh, you owe me, you do. Oh, so we could go then? Uh, how can I say no to you? Oh, I love you. How much? This much. Ooh, how much? Oh, don't push your nuts now. Oh, come on, man, give me a Don't nap. tickle me with me. You know what ticklish oh, I am. Oh, come on, you know you like it. Give no, me that. No, I nap. don't. Oh, come on. Oh, yes, you do. Oh, no, I don't. Oh, yes, you come no, on. Now, stop it. Don't you owe me, mind? I chop those fingers off. Oh, I'll get my tickling stick oh! out. Who oh, do you think you are? Hey, don't. Oh, oh, oh. And a ditty man's tickling stick out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that phone? Yes. <laughs> Answer it, you make me mind. Happiness. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. It's for you. Oh, my mother. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry, Mum. Yeah? What? <sighs> He's all right, though, isn't he? What's wrong? <laughs> it's my father. He's passed away. At Mama's. Oh, nearly a fortnight, don't it? <laughs> anyway, how is she? Oh, not very good. I'll be honest with you, I think she was better before the funeral. She's gone all quiet and withdrawn now. Good God, that's not like your mother, that isn't. <laughs> Come cup tea. No, I haven't long had one. Notice, uh, notice anything different? Discussed this before, and the answer is still no. She won't be any trouble. No trouble. Well, what do you want me to do then? Put her in her homes with Auntie Doreen. Well, at least she'll have a bit of company. <laughs> I won't be able to live with myself, and you know, Mummy, she she wouldn't settle. She'd be too ill. Well, that's what nursing homes are for, man, for ill people. But where's she going to sleep anyway? With us. Bugger on, I'm not sleeping the same bed as your mother. We won't be able to do nothing, will we? What do you mean? Yeah, you know. No, I don't. Oh, bloody marvellous, that is, isn't it? We haven't done it for so long, you forgot what it is. <laughs> oh, that! Oh, I never liked him much anyway. <laughs> and if you think we're going to start doing that again at our age, you 
with ink again. <laughs> oh, I know. My mother could share a room with Victoria. Oh, she loves her gran. And I can't see Mile coming home any time soon. Oh, I don't think I could, man. Oh, please. Oh, I don't think I could, oh, man. Oh, me. But, please. You wouldn't even know she was here. I promise I'll do everything, please. Oh, all right, then. Oh, thank oh. you. Any trouble, mind, then she's out. Everything will be fine. Are you mad? Yes, yes, it's me, yes. Yes, everything's fine. Yes, we've discussed it and William have said you could stay. Yes. Oh, I'm excited as well. Okay, then, see you later, bye. I suppose oh. we'll be wanting her to move in now next month. Well, um, Give us actually, a bit more time to get used to the idea anyway. Well, she's going to move in a bit sooner than that. Oh, don't tell me next week. No. Oh, thank Christ for that. For a minute there, I need a heart attack. Oh. Today. <laughs> today? Like as in today's today? Oh, it's bad enough having to put up with your mother at all, man. But today, you could have given me more time to get used to the idea, man. I couldn't leave her in that big house all on her own. Oh, what have I done to deserve this? Oh, I've never done wrong to anyone. Oh, you're exaggerating now. I've always lived a good life. For goodness sake, man. Oh, oh, and I can hear her now, man. Why don't you get off your ass and do some decorating, yeah? Oh. She's not that bad. Not that bad? she do anything to annoy me, that woman? Or oh, could you phone her back and say we change our mind? No! We can put her in the garage. We haven't got a car now and there's plenty of room in there. Yeah, well, I don't know what you in the bloody garage. Well, I want to have a yup, yup, yup in my ear all day if I'm in there. Well, get her move in the bloody garage oh, then. I bloody will. That could be my mother. Your mother? She's here already. <laughs> You must have been down the bottom of the garden! Are you mom? Are you alright? Yeah. Hello. You to be dark with again. Oh, whatever give you that idea. How you feeling, ma'am? Oh, still not right, lads. William, get back here, says. They're on the doorstep. Hello, William. Nice to see you, William. Where am I going to sleep then, loves? With Victoria, Mum. Oh, she won't mind, will she? Oh, of course she won't. It'd be a lovely surprise for her. You sit down now. I make you a nice cup of tea. Oh, thank you, Bert. Now, I know it's not home, but at least we've got our memory. She'll look after us. You always did say our house was too big, and you're not half the man you used to be. <laughs> so it probably look bigger to you now. Oh, I remember when you promised me we'd spend our final years overlooking the sea in a bungalow in Porth Court. And where do we end up? on a bloody council estate in my steak. <laughs> oh, I suppose we could get used to it. Well, after I get that lazy good for nothing to brighten the place up. <sighs> Strange, isn't it? I always thought to be you carrying me around. It wasn't to be, though. Never mind. Come on, let's get you back on this table. <laughs> Uh, see you settled in, then. This place could do with a lick of paint. Ah, uh, we've been meaning to it, sir. Uh, we just, we just haven't had the time. Don't talk rubbish. You're unemployed. 
You've got plenty of time. That's better. Do you like it? <laughs> nice frame. <laughs> Couldn't you find anything better to put in it? Come and sit down, ma'am. You must be exhausted. Oh, I'm emotionally drained. Look, loves, I'm going to pop off to the loo and spend a penny. I won't be long. Okay, ma'am. Have you seen what she brought with her? No. Oh. What? Oh. What's that? Oh. It's bad enough having to put up with your mother, but I'm telling you now, I'm not having your father move in here as well. Oh. Now look, I'm not having you upsetting her today, okay? Me upsetting her? All right, all right, I'll have a word with her, right? Bloody thinks so too. Everything okay? You two need some more time alone? No. Yes. William, come and sit down, ma'am. <clears throat> oh. oh, what have I got here? Oh. Oh, almost forgot. I got your favourites. Garibaldi biscuits. <laughs> well, come on. Eat up. They won't eat themselves. The fast kind of you, ma'am. Oh, I've just eaten. Come on, I'm sure we've got room for one of these delirious Garibaldi's. Delicious. That's what I said. See, I've had your wedding photo enlarged. Oh, yes, William had it done for us. Is this sweet, ma'am? What, a reminder of that fast? Nothing sweet about that. I always remember William's uncle Dennis that day. Lost his teeth in the snow. <laughs> he fell over and went sliding halfway down the street until he hit a snow drift. Completely vanished. It was ten minutes before he reappeared and as gummy as the day he was born. <laughs> Took them 15 years before he got his new sexy, and a week later he died. Oh, heart attack. Oh. Finding out about his son that did it. What, Donald? Yes, didn't you know? No. One of them. <laughs> what do you mean? You know, one of them. One of what? Oh, one of them. No. Yes. Dennis's Iris would tell me during his funeral then. She said she first suspected he was a whore, one of them. <laughs> when he came home one day with his hair permed. Oh, ma'am, loads of young lads used to have their hair permed in those days. I know, but he had the blue rinse to go with it. <laughs> I swore I'd never have my hair done like that again. William's mother. She's wearing the same dress as me. Oh, cow. I'm sure she did on purpose. Hey, go on, have another Garibaldi. Oh, don't I want to keep them to the party, Mum? I... Oh, don't worry. Look, I've got another two packets in my bag. Oh, you never get why I saw in the surgery yesterday. A doctor? <laughs> Dr. Lewis. Oh, David. <gasps> And he's still as handsome as ever. Hey, it's been almost a year now since his wife's died. I was telling him how disappointed I was that you and him never got to tie the knots. Mum! Oh, well, he's done so very well for himself, see. <gasps> Off to the Bahamas next week. He's really looking forward to it. He said the only thing that's missing is someone to share the experience with. Asked about you, of course. Mum! I said, oh, she's still my beautiful little girl. She hasn't changed a bit. Oh. Oh. What did he say then? Well, 
I don't think he's ever gotten you. Turn it him down, see, lads. Aww. He said, next time you're in town, give him a call. Oh, I haven't got his number. Hey, don't worry, he gave it to me. It's in my bag. <laughs> you were not going around his. I wasn't going to. Of course, he's always been a hard-working young man. Not like some I can mention. I can't work and I'm in my well, back. Well, you wasn't talking about you. I wish you hadn't married him, though, love. I didn't love him, Mum. Well, that shouldn't matter. I married your father, didn't I? Anyway, he was telling me. His mother died only two months ago in Tesco's. Poor Darby doesn't get much luck, does he? Oh. She was at the checkout by an angel cake and she went out like a light. Oh, that reminds me. Your Auntie Bronwyn phoned this morning while you were out. You will never guess in a month of Sundays. What's happened now? What? Go on up again. I don't know. You won't guess because. Oh, Mum, I don't know. No. Oh. Your Uncle Simon's only gone and kicked the bucket. Oh, I Yeah. Oh. We'll have to go pay our respects. Mm. I never did like him, mate. That man took advantage of my good nature once too often, he did. Is this all you've got to talk about is people dying all the time, man? Death is a fact of life, William. We all have to go sometime. But for your sake, Claire Thomas had a baby girl last week. Oh, did she? Seven pounds, two ounces. See, that wasn't too difficult, was it? Of course not, mind you. She was rushed back into hospital a day later after a car crash. I don't think she's going to pull through, no. see? See, you're at it again! I can't help it! <laughs> oh! I'm so sorry, love. I've just not been right since your father died. Oh, ma'am, don't worry now. We'll soon get you back to good health. Won't we, William? Oh, it take a miracle to get me back to good health. Look at me. I'm shaking. You and David was only saying yesterday, if I spend any more time in that surgery, we'll have people talking about us. Oh, he's not my type, mind. His doodah's too big. His what's too big? Doodah, you know, knows. Oh, he's such a nice boy, though. You two had made a lovely couple. Excuse ah, me. Sorry, I spoke. Oh, I can't wait to see Victoria t tomorrow. Oh, oh yes. yes. I'm so looking forward to a surprise party. Oh, it's not a surprise party, Mum. It's just a little get-together, that's all. We've invited Jenny from next door. Oh, not that one who doesn't speak. She's just shy, that's all. And there was me thinking she had a tongue cut out. Oh. Oh. Hey, go on. Have another. Oh, um... Go on, I know you want to. <laughs> And I know you love these, don't you? Hey, I bet our Victoria's gonna look absolutely gorgeous tomorrow, and she follows after a grand sea, proper little fashion icon. She'll be the ball of the party. Like the ball of the party. I know what I mean, and stop talking with your mouth full. Anyway, I've invited the vicar. The vicar? You might as well have invited the organist and the choir. I did. But it's a practice night, and God knows they need it. Oh, it's such a shame my couldn't come, though. Oh, that reminds me, I nearly forgot. My mother phoned and said, my have been in touch, and everything's OK. Oh, thank God for that! Oh, why did you tell me as soon as I come in? Yeah. Why did she phone us? William, there's something going on. Well, apparently, she said she didn't say where she was or what she was doing, only that she's OK and she's sorry she hadn't been in touch sooner. It says parents emigrated to Australia that did it say. God knows why, but she'd do anything to be like his father. Why anyone would want to live in all that sun, I'll never know. Far too hot. And foreigners, I wouldn't trust them as far as I could throw them. They'd pinch their teeth out of your mouth if you stood still long enough. No. You know me, ma'am. I love my granddaughter dearly. But if truth be told, she don't get her funny ways from our side of the family. Well, there's nothing wrong with my family. Nothing wrong with your family? Huh. 
between your father and his illegitimate fraudulent businesses, and you illegally claiming sickness benefits. Don't make me laugh. I'm not illegally claiming benefits, so bugger off! Hey, and you can talk all this ill me, I'm bad business. There's nothing wrong with you. William, oh, talk about the Where pot she think, the pot's Who black. does she think she is? Uh, uh, please, calm down now. We know the two of you. Are you going to let him speak to me like that? You've got no respect for your elders. I told you you should have married that David Lewis. At least he treated me with a little bit of respect. Unlike that, they say God for nothing. Right, no. that's it. I've had enough. You've had enough. You've had enough. I've had enough to hear with you. All you do is put on my poor daughter. Now you can oh, shut up, you bitter, decrepit old witch, you. Old oh, witch? Oh, oh, I don't have to sit here and take this. Well, get up there and get out. And even Mary asked me to. No, you want you will go now before I throw you out. Oh, will you please? Oh, you you stay out of this. Come on, out. get out. Get out. Please. Oh, come on, ma'am. I think it'll be for the best. I'll take your things with you. They throw a poor old woman out on the street. Oh, I tried to get on with him, Colwyn. I really did. But he's never liked me. Mum, look, how about if I stay with you tonight? Oh, no, you bloody what? Oh, yes, I am. Oh, no, you what? Oh, yes, she is. Oh, no, she's not. Yes, I bloody am. To Shut up! Mary! Help! What? Help! I think it's my heart! Look what he's done! Oh! Oh! Oh, oh Mum! Mum! Oh! Now look what you've done! I didn't know she was at him! William Longbottom. Ah. Oh, Doctor, I'm in trouble. Well, goodness gracious me. For every time a certain man is standing next to me, mm -hmm. a flash comes to my face and my pulse begins to race. It goes boom, booty, boom, booty, boom, booty, boom, booty, boom, booty, boom. Well, goodness gracious me, how often does this happen? When did the trouble start? You see, my stethoscope is bobbing to the throbbing of your heart. What kind of man is he to create this allergy? It goes boom, booty, boom, booty, boom, booty, boom, booty, boom, booty, boom, booty, boom, 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 boom,
Well, what a bloody poor old order shit this is. Colwyn, I've had more fun watching paint dry. Hey, I don't know why William made such a fuss about that DVD. It's bloody rubbish. We never were into all that technical stuff, mind, will we? No. I remember you promising me you'd buy me a, a 42-inch plasma screen TV. And you still went and snuffed it, watching One Foot in the Grave in our black and white portable. <laughs> oh, we had such lovely times in front of that old box, though. Both us on the sofa. Me holding your right hand while your left hand held up the aerial for a better picture. <laughs> Colwyn, Mary be home soon. I better sort out those Garibaldis for Vicky's party. Just sorted, out. Just sorted out the Garibaldi's for Vicky's party. I told you it's not a party. It's just a small get-together, that's all. Oh, whatever. How are you feeling today? Well, I'm alive if that's anything to go by. More than what I can say to your father, anyway. How's work then, loves? Oh. Not very good. They've been dropping like flies today. Oh, anyone I know? No. Oh. Where's William? Gone downtown to give Vicky a welcome home banter. Oh, loves, I'm still not right. What do you mean to win today then? Well, William told me to watch this DVD while he went out. I've been sitting here for 20 minutes now and nothing's bloody happened. <laughs> Mum, you're supposed to put it in the prayer first. Well, how am I supposed to know? I never had one of them in my house, have I? Hey, when you were small, we never even had a TV. No. Hey, no. love, do me a favour, will you? Put my Garibaldi's on a plate for me. They're on the table next to your father. All oh, right. Hey, talking about TVs, that was always William's, um, that was always William's mother's excuse. For having a big family, because she didn't have one. Well, oh, uh, she would, wouldn't she, the old cat? <laughs> Me and your father was never into that sort of thing. No. <laughs> Mum! Dad's lick is off! I know, lad. I'm just checking on him, seeing if he was okay. <laughs> Put it back on for me, darling. Yeah, right off. Oh, um, right. I'll take these out the kitchen, shall I? No, I'll bring them here. Well, I don't mind. I can add another packet. No, bring them here, loves. I want them ready for when the vicar comes. Oh, hey, loves. I'll them. teach you. I'll teach you old back. What's the matter? You won't get away with us. What's the matter? That Mrs. Owen kicked her football right into our flowers. Plant down our flower, flower bed. What's gone? She playing football with the kids in the street. So all I did is I watched her kick it on ball next time. And what did she say? Nothing. She kicked it straight at me right in there. Yeah, I mean... Oh, if I wasn't such a gentleman, I'd kick her in a flower bed. I sought her out myself. But I don't think I'd make it to the front door. Hey, I tell you what you need. One of those bodyguards that... Half a daily had in mind her. She'd most probably kill him. Oh. Now there was a handsome man. Half a daily. Oh. What was his real name now? Um, um Cole. Something Cole. Bagov? No. He wasn't foreign. <laughs> George! Ah. Oh, that'd be Jenny. She'd come to help us with the barn there. Oh, my God, say it with flowers. Well, come on, lads, speak up. What is it? We haven't got all day. Um, uh, 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 outside. What? Oh, look at her. I kill her. That's what I do. I kill her. I can leave my panties on. Oh, and the safety out to you, cheeky. William! Well, what do you think she has? A we bloody bundle. The Zickers, man. Oh, look, she's going now. Ah, she's taking her out of the garden with her. 
Jack. Jenny, how much is it to your left? Don't you listen to him. Oh. Well, you can ask me how I am. Um, you okay? Oh, I'm not feeling well at all, actually. Do you know what the doctor said? He said I should go down in medical history for being the only person to have diarrhea and constipation at the same time. <laughs> and to top of that, I almost died of a heart attack last night. Oh, only just managed to pull through, see, lads. But there uh, mustn't crumble. Hey, she's not very pretty, is she? <gasps> Mom! <laughs> I know, I know. Let's put up that band there, is it, uh, William? Oh, I, I got some balloons here as well, look. Oh, good, right. You go and get a step ladder. Jenny, love, would you like to come and help me put up some balloons? Oh, OK. I suppose she can help the way she looks, mind. <gasps> Don't take no notice of my mother, love. She's only joking. Right. Um, we got some balloons. And we'll have to put them either side of the banner, OK? Hey, I remember, I'm She looked like she'd been beaten with the ugly stick. Oh. Oh. <laughs> what next? And um, the blue tap from the back bedroom. And have you seen her father? Oh, he's like the bloody hunchback of Notre Dame. Oh. 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 And he was a dirty sort. Show him a bar of soap and he would run a mile. Mom! Will you stop it? The whole family will like it, mate. And like oh, steady no. work for rolling with a dagger. William, have we got that blue tag from the bedroom? Oh, no. I remember the Sunday school Christmas party that year before they got a doll. They gave Jenny a Croydex show kit, hoping her father would take the hint. Oh, no. <laughs> How about it, lad? Keep blowing, lad. Come on, blow. Hello. Parents like that, my Hello. I'm surprised she has turned out oh. as good as she oh. has. Oh. Oh. William! My mother got to an old trick again. Well, you know me, lads. If I've got something to say, <laughs> out it comes. Wait, don't! <sighs> well, I suppose I have seen worse. Her sister. Come on, Now her sister's a right ugly bugger. Breathe in, blow her. Breathe in, blow her. Jenna, when her sister was born, that bitch went back to her mother. Stop it! Will you stop it? It's okay, loves. Don't worry. They're used to it. They've been known as the Adams family for years. Hey, if that poor girl blows anymore, she's gonna hyperventilate. Breathe in. Oh, out. you know what? In. I love that out. program. In. Out. In. Out. Da, 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 That's right. Come on, blow. Da, 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 da. Come on, now. Come on, blow. That's right. Come on, you can blow harder than that. Stop it, then, Esme. Come on now, blow as if your life depends on it! Say it, talk to Then stop it then! No, not you now, not you! You keep on going now! That's it! That's it! You can do it, don't let me down! That's it! It's getting bigger! That's it! Blow, girl! Blow! Harder! 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 Hello, Vicar! Nice of you to come! We've been expecting you! Uh, oh, what the hell's up here? Jenny! Jenny! Mary! Mary! Jenny! Jenny! What the hell is going on here? Oh, oh. Get oh. your willy one blow too many! Are you happy now? Oh, come on, Jenny! One love. minute you're blowing for me, next minute you're on the floor! Jenny. Oh. Vicar, are, are you all right? Are you okay? Uh, I, I'm really not sure, Mr. Longbottom. I seem to have interrupted you at a rather personal moment. Oh, no, 
Jenny, you just blowing up some balloons for me, that's all. Oh, I see. <laughs> Silly me. <laughs> I must say, though, I did find you ever so masterful, Mr. Longbottom. Oh, yes, please call me William. Oh, oh, hello, Father. Hello, Mrs. Longbottom. Oh, please how are call you? me Mary. Oh, of course. And how are you, Mrs. Jones? Hello. Sit by Mrs. Jones and she'll tell you. Are you well enough to help now, Jenny? Right. William and I will blow the balloons up, right? And you can arrange them in groups of three to put either side of the banner. There we are, look. And how are you, Mrs. Jones? M Mrs. Longbottom, uh, Mary was telling you. I'm rather unwell. Unwell? Unwell? That's putting a bit lightly. I almost died of a heart attack last night. Yeah, eh? Dr. Lewis came round last night, see? Yeah. He said he doesn't know how I've managed to stay alive for so long. He's then found it. Well, wants me to donate my body to medical science. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, Dr. Lewis is a very masculine man, I must say. A man's man. I, I tried to make an appointment with him myself, but um, he was fully booked. I, I saw Dr. Patel instead. Oh, my God, don't see him, Father. Hell's bells, no. That man is totally incontinent. <laughs> Incompetent, ma'am. Hey, did you hear about Blanche the chip shop? She went into hospital last week to have a tonsils out. Well, so she thought. They got her mixed up with one of the other patients and amputated one of her legs. Well, she woke up after the anaesthetic, got up to use a loo and fell straight out of bed. <laughs> You can imagine how she was, can you? The poor dad, total shock. Oh, mind you, her husband, he has been a marvellous support. When, when I saw her, she was in a terrible state. I said, you take the back of the court, left, throw the lot of them. They haven't got a leg to stand on. Well, that, that, that's terrible. I, I shall have to go and visit and read some comforting words of wisdom from the good book. Oh, no need. I've already done that, Father. Oh. I read it a verse from Psalms 91. But he shall give the angels charge over thee to keep thee in all ways. They shall bear thee up with thy hands, lest thou bash a foot against a stone. And how did she respond? She said the angels needn't bother. She got a pair of crutches from the hospital. Have <laughs> we finished arranging them, Jenny? Oh. oh. Let me see, Jenny. I've always been interested in balloon modelling. Well, this is delightful, Jenny. What an astonishing manipulation. It's, it's definitely an unrecognised art form, you know. Absolutely wonderful. Do you, do you, do you create balloon sculpture professionally, Jenny? Really? Um, you shall have to come and do something exactly like this for the church fete. Um, uh, oh, shall I take it? Do you think they'll notice? Uh, it's too late to change it now. Hey, did you hear that? William, you are. Oh, not me. Outside, I'm sure there's a cat. It might be a big gear. Oh, yes. Quick, everybody turn the lights off. I want it to be a surprise. They not on, love you, Doug Bugger. There's still daylight. Oh, you know what I mean. Come on, everybody, hide. Well, where do you want us right now? I'm behind the city. I'm not getting down there. I won't be able to get back up. Well, lay down where you are then, Jenny. Go behind the chair, love. Right. When I give the word, I want you all to jump up and say surprise, right?
expect in Victoria? A little bit shocked. Oh, my little girl. You never got yourself into a mess like this before. Oh, Dad, I'm not in a mess. And I'm not you a little girl anymore. Since I've been away, I've done a lot of growing up. I know too, by the looks of it. Maybe I shouldn't have come. Oh, love, of course you should have. Come on. Come and tell me what you've been up to. Thanks, Mum. Well, Dad? Oh, come here. Yeah. All right. Oh. And who's the young lad? Oh, <laughs> my name's Everard, sir. <laughs> Glad to know you. <laughs> and you, yes, sir. Is that an American accent, are you? Yes, sir. <laughs> we met in Hawaii eight months ago. He just came out of the army and was on holiday. <laughs> Mom, wake up! Sir, um, I'd like to ask him your permission for your daughter's marriage and in marriage. <laughs> oh, a wedding. How nice. Oh, it's nice to see you again. Welcome home, my. Welcome home. And you too, young man. Welcome to our village. You'll find us a most friendly nation. Most friendly. Well, um, uh, uh, thank you, sir. <laughs> oh, a firm grip. I like that in a man. <laughs> uh, marriages. This is all a bit sudden, isn't it? I know, but I promise you, sir, that I will love and honor your daughter and the child for as long as I live, even if it's not mine. Not oh. yours? Not yours? How the bloody hell is it then? I'm most definitely certain it is his. Well, almost anyway. Oh, I don't really know. You don't know? Well, there was Donnie from Dallas and Blake from Salt Lake, and Johnny and Bo from Colorado. Oh, they were twins. <clears throat> and I mustn't forget Eugene Mills from Beverly Hills, and Maldwin from Merthyr. <laughs> Maldwin from Merthyr? Maldwin from Merthyr. I met him in Washington. I was feeling a little bit homesick, and then he just popped up out of the blue. Popped up you out of the room. Stop this all this guesting, William. Come on now, come and sit down. You, you're looking a little bit flushed. Flushed? I sure hope not. I wouldn't want to be married to a lavatory. <laughs> flushed. <laughs> lavatory. <laughs> She wants to marry him. <laughs> How far gone are you, love? Eight months. Oh, just a month to go then. More like a week, if you ask me. William, <laughs> our first grandchild. Oh, it is our first. Oh, so excited. <gasps> Hello, darlings. I've returned. Oh, I can't go on. I'm too happy. I just want to tell you all how happy I am to be back home to see you all again. I can't tell you how much I've missed all of you, and I promise I'll never desert you again. You see, this is my life. It always will be. There's nothing else, just us and those wonderful people out there in the dark. All right, Father. I'm ready for my close up. Oh, no, 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 of course. How are no, you, Dad? I'm just wonderful, oh. Daddy Dad. And I was drama college. Oh, marvellous. Look, I won an award. Oh, an award. Oh, that's marvellous. What do you want that for, lad? I love the awards. I do. Oh, that's wonderful. And what do you get it for? <clears throat> it's the Cardiff College of Music and Drama Award for Best Best walk on all. Oh, she be in Hollywood before we know it. Look at that. What's a walk on? 
on then. I'll tell you what, Mum. I'll demonstrate what I did to achieve this honourable trophy. <laughs> me, 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 me. Thanks, Nan. Derry, 
Oh, thank you, William. Feeling a little bit sick. Your grandfather loved them. Couldn't keep him off them when he was alive. Hasn't changed much then. <laughs> eh? I better go see the vicar once more. Oh. Not interrupted, am I? Oh, not at all. This handsome young man was just telling us all about his ancestry. He comes from a long line of Everards. Yes, I heard. Wooden cock. Uh, <laughs> no, uh, it's woodcock, ma'am. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, vicar, I was just wondering, would you like a cup of tea and a can of Oh, no, thank you. I'm leaving shortly. I have a flower arranging class with William's nephew, Donald. Oh, but you will have a can of Baldy before you leave, won't you? If you insist. <laughs> Ever are? Thank you. <laughs> well, now. Uh, oh. I must say, rushing the wedding through like this, Mrs. Jones, is rather unconventional, but as you and Mrs. Longbottom are such long standing members of the congregation, I'll do my best to accommodate. Oh, that's very kind of you, Father. <laughs> I don't suppose we'll be seeing you in church on Sunday, Mr. Longbottom, uh, but I do expect to see Myra and Everard there. Oh, you can rely on me to get them there. And myself and Mary, of course. Yeah, that's reassuring, Mrs. Oh, Jones. hell or high water couldn't keep me away. Yes. Uh, as you won't be there on Sunday, Mr. Longbottom, I was wondering if you wouldn't mind listening while I practice my sermon. What, now? Yes, it won't take long. Oh. I shouldn't worry, Father. I've always found every sermon you preach is much better than the next. Yes, I, I'm sure there's a compliment in there somewhere. Well, I'm always ready to give advice on spiritual matters. Yes, but as you will be partaking of the service on uh, Sunday, I, I wouldn't want to burden you with the same sermon twice. I know when I'm not wanted. My... Have a Garibaldi, lads. <coughs> Shouldn't you be discussing the, the wedding arrangements with Mary? Uh, I have a sermon, William. Sir, oh. um, may I be excused to uh, use the elevatory? Uh, hey, I'll show you where it is now. William, the sermon. Ah, oh, William, the Bible tells us in Matthew 19, verse 29, that he who hath forsaken his mouse, or his brother, or his sister, or his father, or his mother, or his wife, or his children, or lands, for my name's sake, shall receive an hundredfold, and shall inherit everlasting life. Now, what it doesn't say is that he who hath forsaken his lands, or children, or wife, or mother, or father, or sister, or brother, or house. Oh no, it doesn't say it in that order at all. What it says is his house or brother, or sister, or father, or mother, or wife, or children, or, wait for it, lands. Father, would you like another kind of bounty? I had just begun my sermon oh, for Mr. Longbottom. I'm sure you could find room for another. I would rather continue with my sermon. Well, carry on then. Oh, wouldn't you like to see how the young ladies are doing? How oh, about I see how the young ladies are doing? Well, Esme listens to you. I'm sure you could benefit from Esme's religious experiences. And I'm sure, William, you could benefit from mine. Now, now if you don't mind, Mrs. Jones. Well, if you change your mind, I'll be over with the girls, sharing some words of wisdom. Thank you, Mrs. Jones. Hiya, girls. Got a boldy, love? Oh, no thanks, Granny, darling. I'm dieting. Face your bloody self, then. So. 
Have you been in touch with your friends from the Operatic Society? One has to move on to bigger and better things. Oh, but you got on with that Sarah Thomas, their producer, really well. I'm sure she'd love to see you. I'm sure she would. I remember her last words to me. She said, Longbottom, you're going out a youngster, but you got to come back a star. Oh, they put on a fabulous show last year, didn't they, love? Never mind. Little Shop of Horrors. <laughs> Little dears, the title says it all. But that's what's so delightful about amateurs. People will embrace them no matter how ghastly they are. Oh, I wish I had the guts to go on stage and do that. Oh, we can't all be gifted, <laughs> Granny darling. Oh, I bet you're glad to be home, though, lad. Oh, while I'm resting, valley life is so primitive. No, not long, then I'll be heading off to work in London's West End. It'll just be a case of deciding which offer to accept. I'll have to change my name, of course. With a name like Longbottom, I'll be laughed off the stage. Oh, a stage name? Mm. Oh, how glamorous. Oh, tell us, what is it, love? <clears throat> Rhoda Carriage. Rhoda Carriage? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I wanted a name that was big, strong, and would travel the distance. Of course, I'll just be Rhoda to my friends and miscarriage to everyone else. Oh, right. Well, um, I better get some more garapol tea. I'll see you later. Oh, this is so exasperating. It's like watching paint dry. Oh, I need some excitement. Where's Everard? Um, Meyer Elementary, my dear Jenny. I know he's with Meyer. I don't want to marry him. I want to, you know, amuse myself. I'm gonna make him an offer he can't refuse. You see, in my line of business, you have to sleep all your way around if you want to reach the top. But he Not in my line of business? Yes. No harm, a little practice is there. I can see it all now. Act one, scene one. The handsome American stranger returns. His 501 genes glistening with a few droplets of crystal-like water resulting from the washing of his strong masculine hands. She takes her white lace handkerchief and kneels down in front of him, reaching out to gently wipe away the shimmering spray. <gasps> Suddenly, his blood begins to rush around like a rapid, frantic cyclone electrifying his whole being. <gasps> the pressure rising higher generating into an enormous, pulsating throb. Heart throb, that is. He pulls her into his masculine arms, so close he can feel her heart pounding out a rhythm orchestrated for the sweetest symphony. Their lips tenderly converge as their bodies entwine in love's beautiful. Fasten your seatbelts. It's going to be a bumpy night. <laughs> so, Everard by name and Everard by nature, I hope. Oh, hello. Uh, Mice told me all about you. <laughs> all bad, I'm sure. Oh, no, she said you were nice. <laughs> I'm even nicer lying down. Oh, uh, maybe I'd uh, better go back to the vicar. <laughs> no, no, no. Stay here with me. I'm much more. The vicar is always coming around here, and he really gets on my wick. Oh, um, so I'm chatting with a candle. <laughs> gets on my wick, a candle wick. <laughs> yes, very witty. So, where have you been all my life? My precious. You see, a girl can get real lonely in the big city. But um, you're in uh, my stead. <laughs> I'm just passing through, Abby. Oh, what a dump. I'm off to London as soon as I get the right offer. Oh, I can't wait. The smell of the grease paint, the roar of the crowd. Yes, uh, Meyer tells me you're very talented. She said you used to be big in the town hall. <gasps> I am big. It's the town hall that's got small. So are you really going to marry Meyer? Yes, ma'am. But you, you're so handsome. Why have tuna when you can have salmon? Well, I, I don't like fish. <laughs> Why have winter 
Well, you can have the summer. I like uh, cold winter nights in front of the uh, log fire. Cheap when you can have champagne, or cubic zirconia when you can have diamonds. Why have an unattractive, unrefined, uneducated urchin when you can have a stylish, sophisticated, superior? Why have her when you can have me? <coughs> Glad to see you both getting on. Like a house on fire. That's nice. Until you came like an extinguisher. Well, maybe I can give you more time together to get acquainted and come back later. Or maybe you could just leave and not come back at all. That's what you usually do. Everard, can I speak to you for a minute, please? Alone? What's wrong? Afraid of a little competition? Competition? Of course not. Well, let him decide whether he wants to go or stay. There's no choosing, Victoria. Everard's with me. I remember saying something similar once. Look, I don't want to fight you, OK? <laughs> Over a man? Well, that makes a change. Listen, that was a long time ago. I said I'm sorry, OK? I can't change the past. Are you talking to me? I'm trying to explain to you. Are you talking to me? Yes, I'm talking to you. Are you talking to me? Oh, please, let's just... Well, who are you talking to? Are you talking to me? Oh, I've had enough. Just stop. Well, I'm the only one here. I know. Who the I fuck you? I'm talking, talking to you! you! Oh, yeah? Okay. Oh. Girls! Oh, hey, B.A. Call down your sister's man. You do that again and you'll be sorry. You've got to ask yourself one question. What do I feel like? Oh. I'm warning you. My think of the baby. Yes, come on now, settle down now, girls. Well, do your pump. Oh. 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 You oh. 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 oh, my God. Be afraid. Be very afraid. No! Oh, oh, no, no!